I'm going to save you some time and some money, guys. I'm going to talk to you today about some shit that I really don't think you should buy, waste your money on, and some stuff that I really do think that is worth it. So if you're interested in listening to my empties, I've racked up two months worth of empties. It just crept up on me. I apologize. This could be a long video, so uh, buckle up and um, let's get into it. G'day guys, welcome to Yenna Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And as I said just before, I have two months worth of empties. The first month I don't really had, I don't think I had anything in there. That's why I didn't do the video. I had maybe like four or five items and I'm like, I don't do a video about four or five items. You'd be like, geez, you just wasted my time. But then like this month, oh my gosh, everything just all at once. Plus, I mean, I've been using a lot of samples as well, but like my bin, she's full. Um, so I thought maybe we better talk about it because I don't think I can fit another month in here. So anyway, um, let's get into it. You know, I want to talk to you about a candle before I talk to you about anything else. I do want to give you a little bit of a disclaimer that, um, my kid's home. So he, he might come squealing in or he might come and say hi or whatever. There's nothing I can do about that. Anyway, I have spoken to you guys about this candle before, but for those who are new, this is the uh, Sensia Chiang Mai Lemongrass and Ginger Candle. This I pick up from Spotlight. I don't know where you can pick them up from other than Spotlight, but it is amazing. This is my favorite candle. Um, I, I do like glasshouse candles. But I like this one better and I have not dabbled in any of their other scents just because I love this one so much. Um, you don't necessarily smell the ginger, it just it just does something to the lemongrass that just, oh my gosh, it is just so good. It's so good, like it, it's still a little bit sweet but the ginger balances it, you know. So instead of getting like these um, lemongrass candles that you smell that's sort of like a lemongrass slash vanilla-ish sort of thing, this is more like citrus, you know. Um, I don't know. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm devastated that I've run out of it. Um, but I've got all these glasshouse candles that I need to burn in the meantime. So... I guess I can wait because these guys, they're not cheap. I mean, they're, they're, they're cheaper than glasshouse candles, don't get me wrong, but I think they're like 30 something dollars, $31 or something like that. Um, not on special. And actually, believe it or not, this has got more in it than a glasshouse candle. Doesn't look like it, but it's bigger than a glasshouse candle. Um, so they're definitely worth it. Um, but I like to pick this up for around about $19 on special. So I've brought myself some time. Um, so yeah, yeah, definitely get a hold of this if you love lemongrass. Next thing I thought I'd talk about is not something that I've used myself. My children use this. This is the Lynx Smell Ready Limited Edition Fresh Mandarin and Juicy Pear Scent. They're calling this a limited edition, um, but this has been in the supermarket for the longest time ever. Um, look, the boys like this, but they prefer the, um, the Lynx Black, and to be honest with you, I agree with them. Um, I would, I would use this myself, you know, I don't I don't necessarily have to go for very sweet or feminine sort of scents. I like this, but I do like the black one better, so I think this is good value for money. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. And the next thing, uh, I have this Batiste dry shampoo uh, with a hint of colour, beautiful brunette. Um, I'm so sick of buying uh, dry shampoos and they leave like this... <laughs> It's not even a white cast anymore. It's just straight up snow. Um, you know, I'll go tss, eh, big white spot right on my head. I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. Okay, and until another brand comes up with a coloured um, dry shampoo that's easily easy for me to get a hold of like this one, I'm just going to stick to this because um, I'm, I'm so over testing other ones to see whether they have white cast. I love this and I will buy it again and I love this size. Next thing I've got is this um, Ilua hmm, Cosmetics London Ilua Pre-Glued Lengthening Eyelashes. I hate this. I really do. Um, it kind of reminds me of like, you know when the kids spill cordial on the floor and it dries up a little bit and then you step in it and then every step you take after that, it's like... This is what this is like on your eyes. You stick them on, you know, they're easy enough to apply. They look nice. Um, but then the glue, you know, it doesn't dry down like it would if you were using regular eyelash glue. And they just sort of, you can feel the, you know, I hate it. 
I absolutely hate it. I, I, I didn't even keep these on for longer than an hour. I just pissed me right off and I'm like, nope, not gonna do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, don't waste your money on that shit. Fuck that. Next thing is the um, Plunkett's Nutri Synergy Working Hands Intensive Hand Cream. I don't mind this. Um, I haven't found a hand cream that I absolutely adore yet. Um, everybody says, oh yeah, you know, there's no, you know, that rubs in really, really quickly. Not just this, all hand creams in general. I don't know how many uh, YouTube videos I've watched with recommendations of buy this hand cream because it absorbs in really fast, doesn't leave any sort of film or anything like that. I haven't found it yet. I've tried them all. I haven't found them yet. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just really, really funny. I do have some sensory issues when it comes to my hands, so maybe I, I don't know. Just haven't found it yet. This though, I can tolerate this. Um, I only use it over night time. Um, it's one of the better ones I find. And um, yeah, I'll probably buy it again uh, unless I come across something else. Actually, there is something that I've been wanting to try at a store called um, Olivia Birch. I don't know what the brand is. If I can remember, I'll put a picture up here, but they look interesting. And they got some testers too, so I might actually go in there and, and have a little try. I do know that they have like a lemongrass scented one, so maybe that might be right up my alley. Anyway, let's move on. Next thing I have is this Gillette Sensitive Sin Skin Soothing Aloe Vera Shave Gel. This is just the gel that I use. I really do enjoy it. I don't find that I get razor burn or anything like that. Um, and I do have sensitive skin and it doesn't burn me when I use this. So I love it. I will rebuy it and um, yeah, let's move on. Next thing I have is this Nature's Organics Fruits Conditioner. I brought these um, from Woolworths actually. They're $2 each. I brought them as backups because the children, they seem to go through a lot of shampoo and conditioner like an unnecessary amount of shampoo and conditioner. I swear they're making potions. And um, sometimes I'm just like, well, you know what? I don't have $7 to go and buy another conditioner. So um, I buy this and then they're like, ah, we don't like that one as much. And I'm like, well, then maybe you should be just a little bit more conscientious on how much you use. So anyway, that's not the only reason why I buy this. I do buy this as a backup just in case, um, but I also buy this because I've got kids and sometimes they come home with head lice and the best way that we find treating them because the head lice treatments barely ever work is that we go through the conditioner, we put it through their hair like tons of it and we vigorously comb out their hair and we do this until, you know, they're all gone, you know, every single day and whatever. Anyway, it's cheap. It's cheap and it's a good backup option, but it's not a very good um, conditioner. It's really not. Kids don't like it. So, like I said, it's just a um, backup, last case, worst case scenario, so they can still wash their hair if we run out of the stuff. Moving on. Now, this is a shampoo and conditioner that they do like. This one's the shampoo. This is the Sun Silk Longer and Stronger Shampoo. Uh, this is a 700 ml. This is what I mean. Like, I'll buy uh, a shampoo and a conditioner of this, and this will be gone within four days. And I've only got three kids that are using it, and um, two of those kids are boys. I actually believe the boys are the ones that are using it the most. So there's that. But anyway, they love this, and um, it smells nice, smells fresh, smells fruity. And um, yeah, I'll keep on buying it because I love this size, and I love the, um, the nozzle on it. And um, when they fill up the shower rack with everything, they can still sit it on the ground. It's not going to fall over. It's not going to break. Well, I like it. I like it. And it comes in a whole bunch of different types as well. This one obviously is a longer and stronger. Um, I can't remember which one they prefer the most, but uh, it's the, um, the yellow bottle, but I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, this is nice. They like that one too. Let's move on. I have a deodorant, deodorant that I always use, which is, this is the Dove Original 48 Hour. I love this stuff. And um, it's the only stuff that I can use. So fantastic. We're not going to waste time dwelling over that because you guys if you've been here you know I love that stuff. Let's move on to a definitely do not fucking buy. This is the 40 Fathom Skin Regenerator Lotion. Um, I wanted to like this, I didn't like this, I thought you know what I need a moisturizer for underneath my makeup but I brought it in here and thought I'll just use it, I just I, I didn't want to waste it right but I can't, I can't with this shit so not only does it smell just, I don't like the smell. It's, it's just, it's weird. It's like that cheap, 
I don't know, that cheap cosmetic kind of smell. I can't even explain it to you. But anyway, it hurts my nose. I don't like it. And then when I put it on, my face gets warm um, and uh, uncomfortable warm and it stays warm for hours. And I just want to take it off. Like it's not burning, but it's like a real flush. And so when I'm wearing it, I'm feeling very, very uncomfortable and I just want to take it off. And I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I, I tried to use it in a few different ways and I just can't. I even tried it on the body. I hate it. I feel like my skin is suffocating or like it's, like I'm sitting in a sauna on a 38 degree day. Like it's just, no, I'm not gonna fuck with that. So yeah, no, sorry, 40 Fathoms. In fact, you know what? I don't like anything that I've tried from 40 Fathoms. Um, uh, it's just not working for my skin for whatever reason. I don't know whether it's a me thing, the brand thing, whatever. Let's move on. I have two products from Lush. I have the Yognok um, and uh, Shower Gel and I have the Nana. And um, I brought the Nana because someone said that it was like very, very close to the Yognok and I thought I wanted to, you know, I wanted to check. Now, mm, yes and no. This, the Nana smells more like banana pudding and the Yognok smells more like a, an alcoholic caramel, Milkshake. Um, I love this shit. I love it. I love it. Oh my god. I love this so much. I've got another bottle of this, a bigger bottle of this in my shower and I'm going to baby it until November because it's limited edition and I absolutely love the shit out of this. I'm going to buy it in November or December again, whatever, but I think I might buy a couple. I might even buy some as Christmas presents for other people because this stuff is amazing. Oh my gosh. It's awesome. At the moment I'm using Snow Fairy in my shower and I'm nearly finished that one. It was so close to ending up in this bucket, but you know what? I thought I've already got enough here. Um, <laughs> anyway, this Nana one is not bad. It's um, it's still nice, but um, I would probably use this one more for the kids than I would for myself because I really like that Yognog one better. And, um, and then I like the Snow Fairy one too, even though the Snow Fairy one's really, really sweet. This one's more like luxurious and... Um, exotic and this is more like mm, nice you know just playful they're both good love them love them love them gotta buy some more uh lush products anywho let's move on um i'm gonna just pull some stuff out to make it easier uh, another product that i i wouldn't say i hate i just didn't see anything good so this is a swiss swiss skincare iron revitalizing eye cream um yeah, it's got caffeine and gu guarana seed extract or something like that. I didn't see it doing anything. In fact, it just feels like a moisturizer. Like, I don't know. I didn't see any, I didn't see anything special from it. I don't even know if it's supposed to do anything. You know, intensively nourishes and replenishes the delicate eye area, preventing the signs of premature aging. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I feel like they've just squirted a moisturizer in an eye cream and charged more for it. That's how I feel. Um, it's not a bad product, but it's not really doing anything for me and I just can't be bothered doing an extra step in my skincare routine if it's just going to work just as well to bring my moisturizer up to my eyes. So yeah, there's that. All right. So moving on, I've got this CeraVe moisturizing cream for dry, dry, sensitive skin. Um, this is a sample. So I brought some stuff from Adore Beauty and they sent me a buttload of samples. They sent me this one that had this like little box of a whole bunch of CeraVe uh, products and this was one of them. It was a moisturizing cream um, and I loved it and um, you know it didn't like it wasn't like fancy dancy like the um, the Ole Henriksen cream that I'm absolutely loving at the moment but I thought this would be perfect to put underneath my makeup and it's a backup cream. I absolutely love it. It's got ceramides in it. All the good stuff. Um, so I actually went out and brought the bigger one because I liked the sample of the cream. Now, talking about that, I also have the um, the sample of the facial moisturizing lotion and the moisturizing lotion for uh, CeraVe. Now, I want to tell you that I felt that both these two creams seemed the same, even though they're not. Um, they've got some different ingredients in them, but I didn't see I didn't see a difference to be honest with you between the two of these and. Um, there's nothing wrong with these. Um, my skin was hydrated all day long using both of these um, at separate times, but I don't like the feel of lotions. 
Um, I don't know what it is. I like a cream. And so I won't be repurchasing these ones. I obviously, I just showed you, I've just picked up the moisturizing cream one. But these are lovely too, and they feel um, on the skin after it absorbs, they feel just like the moisturizing cream one. Just the application is different. So it's whatever you like, really. I mean, it's lightweight. I guess, I mean, I got dry skin. I think I just prefer the thicker moisturizers. So there's those two, but they also sent me um, the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. And um, this was nice. In fact, I used this as a second cleanse. And um, I had makeup on my face still from the first cleanse, and this took it off as well. And uh, it was great. Didn't burn or sting my eyes or anything like that. And um, I'd pick this up. Yeah, as a second cleanse, definitely. I wouldn't say that I would think that it would get like all of this makeup off. I don't know, although I can't tell you for sure. But um, this was definitely nice. I like that. Then I also picked up um, this sample from Nude Sticks. This is the Gentle Hydrogel Facial Cleanser. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this one purely because once I uh, washed my face with this and um, before I even had a chance to sort of um, dry down my face a little bit before I was going to put on my moisturizer, um, I felt my skin tightening and then I put my hands on my face and it felt like my skin was already creating dry skin. Like my skin was fine before, like soft and dewy. And then I just felt like all of a sudden, like SpongeBob out of water, like, you know, <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't know what happened, but I don't, I don't like this. Not at all. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid in it too. So I don't know what the hell happened. I mean, Theoretically, I mean the hyaluronic the hyaluronic acid should have pulled that water in not pulled the water out of my face But whatever I digress. I don't like this shit and I wouldn't buy that again Here's another one that I hate. Um, in fact, I don't like anything from philosophy on my skin This is called time in a bottle 100% in control philosophy Repair serum. This is this is weird. I hate the smell. I absolutely hate it I can't tell you What it smells like but yeah, no this burns this burns and leaves me red and I, I don't know what is in it, but I don't like it and I will not advise you to buy it. It's just me though. Um, I also have these um, Vush You Do You Pocket Size Intimate Care Wipes. I mean, I use these for cleaning my hands and occasionally for just like cleaning my face. Um, and these were nice. These were lovely. I like these. Uh, they have aloe extract and chamomile, they're 100% cotton, uh, geneology, gene, genealogy, <laughs> far out, um, gynecologically tested, uh, vegan and cruelty free, hypoallergenic and fragrance and alcohol free. So yeah, I enjoyed these. Let's move on. I have these simple reviving under the eye hydrogel masks. I picked these up. These are $2. I picked them up from Chemist Warehouse for $2. I needed a pick-me-up. Like, I thought, not necessarily because I thought they were going to do anything, like, <sighs> dramatic to my eyes, but I was feeling a little bit low, and I just wanted to do something nice for myself, and I thought I would pick these up, and I would put them on. I'd kick back with a coffee, and I would just chill after the kids went to bed, and that's exactly what I freaking did. I brought these. I, I did all of my things, you know, fed the kids, washed the kids, put the kids to bed, and I boiled the kettle, went into the bedroom, chucked them on, just kicked back, watched some Netflix, and um, these were great. I love them. No, they're not revolutionary. No, they don't remove fine lines or anything like that. They are sort of like rejuvenating, you know, refreshing kind of things. But these were great. And yes, yes, I would buy them again. I will buy two or three packets. I'll throw them in the fridge. And when I'm feeling like dog shit, I will use them when I'm feeling down on my luck or tired or depressed or puffy eyed even. Um, I will whip out some of these and I'll chuck them on. Um, they were nice. They were lovely. Uh, are they the best eye um, masks that I've ever used? No. But they're not the worst either. They, they're just lovely. So yeah, I'm gonna get some more of these. Um, two bucks, man. I, I, I generally pay between five and eight dollars for eye gel masks. Two dollars, gonna get some more. Let's move on. This is utter garbage. This is the Chlorine Laboratories sham dry shampoo in a bottle. This is shit. <laughs> it, I, the first time I used it, I didn't shake it, right? And I'm like, Ksh -ksh, cool, cool. 
just used a little bit of it just to see whether it would leave a white cast, not enough to really do anything. And then second time I came in, I'm like, oh, I better shake this. Shook it up. I'm like, Shh, white. Like I just got a can of spray paint and went. <laughs> so obviously when I sprayed it the first time, you know, I, I wasn't really getting anything. Um, mm, this is horrible. This is fucking horrible. I was going to rave about this after using it the first time once I was finished and and it just it just did me wrong. Um, so yeah nah. Yeah nah. Now I do like some of their um, their products. Like, what is it? Uh, mm, I think it's a shampoo. I can't actually recall, but this is this is horrible. Let's move on. I have this little tiny um, vial of MAC. Fix it, prep and prime. I love this stuff. This is fantastic. I'm going to get some more, but I seem to just like fly through it like this. I went through this like it was nothing. I mean, it isn't that much, but <laughs> it's nice. And it definitely did um, give my makeup longevity. I liked it. I really, really liked it. So I'm going to get some more of that. I think I've only got one product left, guys. I do. This is the Ordinary Retinol 0.5 in Squalene. I enjoyed this. I was worried when I first decided I was going to start using retinol. I was terrified, thinking that I was just going to flake everywhere because I'm a I'm a crusty, dusty mummy, right? I am, and you know you usually go through like a two week period of they call it the retinol uglies where you're all crackly or you might actually get more pimples than you had before. Um, I'm using it because I want to like reduce the signs of aging and all that sort of jizz jazz. Um, but some people use it for acne control. And um, yeah, sometimes it can look worse before it looks better. And a lot of the time it can take three to five months before you start seeing the effects of this. Now, I I enjoyed this. I used it as a nighttime. I do want to tell you though, that with because of the squalene, um, I looked greasy as hell. Not that it mattered, but like uh, after I put this on and then I put my moisturizer on afterwards, I was shiny as shit. And that's fine because I'm in bed and I don't give a shit. And you know, the next day my skin was absolutely lovely. Um, but. I'm not sure whether the 0.5 retinol is enough. Um, I just bumped up to the Gran Active 2% um, um, retinoid. So I've just used it once so far. Um, I do think that this one might send me through the retinol uglies. It's quite a jump. I'm go I've gone from a um, retinol, retinol to a retinoid and um, quite a bit of a bump up. So, um, yeah, this one's like an oil one, and what I found with the one that I'm using at the moment, it, I'm using a, what is it? It's kind of like a milky texture. It's not the, it's not in squalene. Um, it's an emulsion. It's different. Uh, I don't hate it. I, I think I liked the squalene just a little bit better, and, and you can actually get the Gran Active Retinoid 2% in squalene. So I'm going to see how I go with this one. Uh, like I said, I've only used it once, so I couldn't talk about it. But this one here is lovely, and it's a good starter if you're worried about your skin, if you have sensitive skin, or you're worried that the retinols, you know, you're going to have a reaction. I brought this bad boy right up underneath my eyes, which is primarily what I want it for. Like, I want it for... Fix it. Fix it, please. <laughs> um, so that's the area that I'm trying to target, is right around underneath my eyes and the crow's feet and, um, and my smile lines just a little bit. I mean, I don't want to get rid of my smile lines completely. But, like... I, I tend to look a lot older than I actually am and um, especially when I put makeup on I don't want to accentuate that I don't I'm happy looking my age but I don't want to look 10 15 years older than I actually am I'm not here for that anyway guys that that's that's it I mean we managed to get through it in under an hour I don't know how but we did we did and um, yeah what do you think have you tried any of these products um, I'm a little bit devastated that I have run out of this candle and every part of me wants to go out and buy another one. But like I said, I've brought some time. Uh, I'll wait for it to go on special and I will buy another one. Although, you know, Mother's Day is like literally around the corner. However, there's a new Glasshouse candle that's come out that I really want to get. And um, so hint, hint for the kids. Um, otherwise, I'm more than happy just to have hugs and kisses in the morning. Um, but if they wanted to get me something, that candle would be absolutely lovely. That one too. Anyway, guys, I hope you found something useful out of this. I'm mumbling. I don't know. Um, I plan on doing another video very, very soon. There's just there's been a lot going on. Um, I just recorded another video. Get it ready with me. I don't know if you're going to see that first or after this one, but if you wanted to see how I did this look, 
then either go back and watch that video or that video is coming next. I'm also going to do another video about monitoring my beauty purchases. Um, I probably hope to get that up within the next two weeks, but there is so much going on. I touch base on that in my get ready video about what has been going on in my life if you are interested. And um, yes, I've got 300 subscribers and that keeps on fluctuating a little bit and I'm doing my darndest to try and get to 500 because once I get to 500 subscribers, guys, I can open up the community tab and I can start talking to you there without having to record a video, which is my goal right now. And they are talking about dropping that even further, but right now it's 500. So if you want to help me reach my goal of 500 subscribers, uh, feel free, go ahead, click that like button, share it all around. Um, and uh, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Take it easy.